Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Altarias and Staravias. Welcome to the channel. This is Hendu Jr. And welcome back to our Team Sky playthrough. If you guys enjoy, please give those like and subscribe buttons their wings. Let's go ahead and hop right in. So. With last episode, I was able to basically collect Professor Crane. So we are now uh, in a decent situation. Beedrill can be purified. And Murkro is just starting off. Alright, so we've got. A relatively tough fight coming up here. Am I prepped for this? Probably not. Do I... I don't have access to the PC, so... Let's just hope this works. Because I don't have much of a choice at this point. Alright. I'm here to stop you, yada yada, taking Professor Crane back with me, blah blah blah. Alright. I'm probably really under level for this, but we'll see what we got. So, Cuddles and Fairy. Alright. Well, Fairy must be the shadow, because yeah, it doesn't have a nickname or anything. Oh! Alright. So... Let's do extreme speed against Cuddles. And what do those do? I don't even know. That's not what I want. Thank you very much. So restores half the HP it drains from the bow. Okay, that's actually pretty useful. All right, that's the only attack move it has. I know that because Shadow Fear and Shadow Sky are meh. So, we'll go ahead and Shadow Spirit Cuddles. So, hopefully this takes out Cuddles. Okay, maybe not. Nope. Ooh, almost, almost. Probably leave that to Murkrow and... Uh, extreme Speed the Fairy. Shadow Spears. I don't like Shadow Spears. Dang it, really? I mean, I was, I was screwed either way. Draining Kiss. Of course you have that. Dang it! Okay. So... Yeah, Murkrow's not gonna be able to do anything. I will Extreme Speed the Clefairy. And then... I think I have to call Murkro. I have to wake it up. Which doesn't help me because I'm wasting a one turn. Okay, helping here. That that's helpful. I don't think Clefairy is really gonna do anything, but we'll see. Yeah, that's not strong, is it? Shadow Spirit. Oh you brat. That's my move. Hopefully I can get rid of Cuddles here. Should be able to do a good chunk of damage. Oh, really? I just like gained health, but still, that should have taken out Cuddles. Oh, you brat! 
course you would do that to Osu this time around, because it's actually doing damage to him. Screw you! Dang brat. Alright, call Osu Spirit the Cuddle. I'm gonna Spirit Cuddles. Of course you do. Not that it's gonna help you any. Bye! Jeez. That. And of course it does Shadow Spirit again. Does it do a Murkrow? No, of course not. There goes Osu and practically cancels a lot of the damage that I did do. Uh, send out Graw. Not my best choice, no, but Poison... Does it have Poison Fang? Yeah, whatever it has. I'll figure something out. Tickles. Yeah, that doesn't help much. Alright, um... So I do have Poison Fang and I do have Super Fang. Let's do Poison Fang on a Fairy and Shadow Spirit on Tickles. They should do a big chunk of damage. Oh yeah. And Markrow's back to full health. Good. Poison Fang should be super effective? Yes, good. Probably do that one more time. Could you stop? That is starting to piss me off. Play rough, that's gonna hurt. Yep. And I have to wake it up, so it's done already. Dang it! This is not helpful! Mr. Tickles needs to go away. Bye! Holy crap! My whole team happens to be weak. To vary. Does not help. Uh, I hate the fact that my whole team is weak to fairy. And the one shadow is messing me up. Oh my gosh. Another fairy course. Because what else are they going to send at me? No! There goes... Graw. Damn it! This stupid fairy brat! Go away! Quit bringing out these annoying mon! Shadow Bully. Wow. Alright, I'm gonna send out Beedrill, cause I don't really have much of a choice at this point. Cause Bagon is weak to both the Mons that are out. You can do Cross Poison on Clefairy though, and Shadow Spirit on Bubbles, trying to regain some health here. There we go. My Rage Roll, of course it did. Because how am I supposed to do this without having to call my mom every other goddamn turn? And of course you do snooze. Again. Oh my god, you're trying to make me call both my mom next turn. Screw you! This is annoying! Murkrow's done. So... I think what I'm gonna do here is use Murkrow's turn to throw a ball at Clefairy, and I'm gonna cross poison bubbles. If this works the way that I hope that this works, she should be down two more Mon and only have two Mon left. Of course, they're both gonna be fairy types, and I'm still very weak to both. So, come on. 
Yes! That's one down. It's one out of the way. Of course it does freaking Aqua Jet because it wants to take out the Murkrow. Like I said, Murkrow is done. <sighs> so Cross Poison, that should finish Bubbles off. Good. Of course now it's down to the two Fairy types that she's got. And I don't really have a whole lot I can work with here. It does not help that literally all my Mon, or most of my Mon, are weak to Fairy. <sighs> Team Sky shouldn't be weak to Fairy. Shouldn't, but it is. Alright, so I know the other two are both Psychic Fairy types. So, that doesn't help me any. The only move from Komora that I could use is Fire Fang, and that's not going to be very effective, because they are what they are. My only other choice is Meryl, who is severely underleveled. You know what? I am... My whole team was underleveled. So I'm going to go ahead and take this chance to use items. I've said it before, and this has only ever happened one other time, but if I am severely underleveled like I have been right now, I'm going to allow myself to use items. Because I am not going to try and do this 10 hundred times to get one win. It's not worth the freaking problems. So, I'll send out Meryl. Yeah, the shiny Carlia, whatever. Send out Meryl. And then... Oh, Kiss. Oh, crap. So, Kiss is a problem. It's... Steel Fairy which means it has almost no weaknesses. Mm. But I see a win here. Okay. I might actually be able to pull this off. So, I'm going to cross Poison Bay. And I'm gonna sing Kiss. This works. Yes! Yes! Awesome! Cool! I know I just said I was going to allow myself to use items, but in this situation, you know what? That's fine. I have two Mon now. I can use both of them to absolutely beat the crap out of this. <sighs> I'm just going to slide. I'm still not going to use items. Holy crap. Alright, so... In this situation, I think my best bet is Shadow Rush, because Cross Poison isn't going to do anything. So we'll Shadow Rush and we'll Fire Fang. Fire Fang would be neutral in this situation? Yeah, okay. But, it should... Yes! I just... And they both go faster, they're both faster than Kiss, so I should be able to finish it off no matter what. Yep. Cool. Good job there, Beedrill. You definitely helped there. So, Fire Fang from Komora, and we're done. Holy crap, that was a closer fight than I thought it was going to be. But I didn't have to use items. I'm glad for that. Because holy crap. I should have used the rare candies that I had, but I didn't think that I had them. It took me a second, but I realized after I started the fight that I did in fact have the rare candies to level up my mod to the level required, which would have been 25, I want to say. Yeah, because Meryl was, or uh, Clefairy was 25 at the least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so. 
I'm gonna go ahead and use my rare candies and at least get Gra and Osu along with Komora. Eh, Komora's close. I'll leave Komora out, but I'm gonna get the other two to level 25. Just cause they should have been 25 for this fight. Period. So, woohoo! Osu's evolving! Didn't even go over the stat boosts. Okay. Evolved into Swellow. Woohoo! Wants to learn Air Slash. Okay, so here's my problem Air Slash is a special flying move. I do believe the physical special split has happened in this gen, or in this, uh, so I don't know if Air Slash is worth it. I can drop Double Team and I can always just reteach it later. You know what, I'll drop Peck. It's not worth holding on to. I've been using Extreme Speed and even that's been iffy. So. So, its attacks are middling, and its speed is definitely its main stat. Once it gets to 40, that might show even more so. Faint? Oh, is that basically allows it to go through protect? Yeah, that's not worth it. Get raw to 25. is very nice. It's much stronger and it's got a chance of dropping the opponent's defense, which is very useful. Alright. That was a much closer fight. Had I had my Mon up at the level that they should have been, it probably would have been less close. So... I don't know if that was a good idea or not to leave them at such a low level. I think from this point forward I will go ahead and give the fight a try at whatever level it is that I'm at, and then if I fail I'll just reboot it and uh, give it another try after I level everything up. So, now that the, um, the machine that will basically be doing all the purification for me has been fixed up, I could use it. I don't think I feel like using it, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Can we just, I wish, I wish you could just skip this crap, because I've seen it a million times. I don't care. I really don't. Alright, so. We have, yeah, only two mon that are actually viable for this setup. So, yeah, I 
I've got a lot of mods. So. Alright. Purify Fampy real quick. That'll probably be the end of that. healed up then good I yeah I'll go through the stuff they they're, they're gonna send me off to do it eventually so once they let me leave the area probably head uh, straight to if they would let me move holy crap uh, but once I'm once I'm given the chance to leave uh, the HQ, I'll probably head straight to a gate and purify B drill. Yep, I had to go here just so that that would be revealed, and then I could go down. Um, yeah. So once I get B drill purified, I'll boost him up to the level of everyone else. I've already got a relatively I've got an okay name for him, so it's it's a fitting name, I think. All right. So now they want me to go to Pyrite? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go there, but I need to go to a gate first. At least this way, I have a relatively strong non shadow poison type. And I mean, it's got levitate, so that works. I am curious as to what the other skill is, but I'm not. I'm probably not going to use it, just because levitate is the move that will allow B Drill to stick around, you know? And I can use all the coverage I can get for my team, make it as diverse as I possibly can for Team Sky! Because I actually really like having a ver uh, a wide range of Mon. I'm not big on single type runs, but this wouldn't... I've played this game so much that the single types is usually what I end up doing. So it's actually kind of fun to have a chance at going at this like this. 21. Special attack is absolute garbage and so is the defense. Holy crap. Physical attack, special defense, and speed. That's interesting. Specifically, physical attack and speed. Alright. Level 22. And, yeah, okay. Jeez. 23, wow! Alright, it couldn't possibly be that deep. Oh, whoops, I meant to give it a nickname. Dang it. I don't usually give nicknames to my mom, so... Oh yeah, that's perfect. I can level her up a little bit. Um... 
Yeah. Go ahead and give her a couple of items, a couple of rare candies here. Get her to match everyone else. Nothing in defense and special attack. Cool. Not like I need them anyway. I mean, defense is nice, but Beedrill should be fast enough and strong enough. It won't need it. <laughs> I just gotta make sure that Beedrill isn't paired up with something that's really slow and will allow anything to basically one-shot it. I also can't, you know, shift it in. Alright. I need to go and talk to the old man. Because, again, I meant to give a nickname. It's... I'm not good at giving nicknames. I'm really not. Uh, it's... It's second nature for me to just refuse to give a nickname. So, yeah, Beedrill. This is not actually based on Beedrill specifically, but it kind of is. Nope. Spike! Yes. Because it has spikes. Awesome. Very cool, very cool. Berry, Kevia Berry, Orin Berry, Guav Berry, Apricot Berry, jeez, Dosha Berry, jeez. Okay, let's see what some of those do, because, uh, so Pecha is Poison, Orin is 10 HP, Figgy is HP but may confuse. Same with a guava. Kebia drops poison super effective. Interesting. Charty drops rock super effective. Tenga drops bug. Yachi drops ice. Dosha drop or er, yeah, drops shadow. Ooh. Weakens the shadow move. Interesting. Apicot. Oh, raises a special defense in a pinch. Okay. Very cool, very cool. I don't think I'm ever going to use any of them, but... I really ought to make it a habit to visit that man, because he always has more berries. Alright. So, do I have enough to go through the entrance? Yeah, I could probably do the intro into uh, Pyrite. So, we'll walk in, it'll introduce us to Pyrite Town, and we'll probably go ahead and call it good there. So, thank you guys so much for joining me on this. I really do hope you enjoyed. I am really having a lot of fun uh, doing this Team Sky playthrough. Um, props to MNJ TV for coming up with something like this. It's absolutely amazing, and I'm having a bunch of fun with this. So, with that, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.